Meet Captain David Calloway, the commander of the 1st of 180th Field Artillery Battery from Arizona. Dave's originally from the Midwest, specifically from Stockton, Iowa, population 220. Here's how this small-town boy got his home folks to get involved. Well, I tell my mother, I actually sent her some pictures um, the last time we went out. And uh, she had looked up to the local post office and was telling the uh, postmaster. And um, they decided to post it up, the picture up on the uh, bulletin board in the post office. And then uh, they asked for donations. And people just started buying shoes and bringing in toys. And they finally, the uh, postmaster paid for the uh, packaging. They packaged it all up and uh, sent it off to us. And this is what was sent off to Iraq thanks to Stocktonians. Dozens of boxes filled with shoes, stuffed animals, and other items. Recently, Captain Calloway and his soldiers loaded everything up and headed to a village in Baghdad. Within minutes, children from all over the neighborhood began flocking around Calloway and his troops. They, they don't have a lot, and every little thing that you give to them, even a the littlest toy, you know, just makes them smile and, uh, you know, brings joy to them. Soldiers within Calloway's battery also believe in this mission. I worked for kids for about, I don't know, seven years or so back at home. And um, it's just great to be able to, you know, go to a different country and experience that same thing, working with the kids, making them happy, laugh, and, you know, be able to have something that they don't originally have, you know, that they can't get here. Captain Calloway says there are other reasons why he believes these types of missions are important. He says children have thrown rocks at his convoys in the past, and hopefully this will build a relationship to stop this type of behavior. He also believes that with the help from his hometown, this gesture of generosity will hopefully have a lasting effect. You know, those kids are going to be the ones that uh, that will be the grown-ups, and, you know, their experiences now will hopefully carry them into the future, and, you know, they'll think back to... Uh, you know, the days when we stopped and, and, you know, gave them toys and met with them, and hopefully that will make an impact when, the, when they're old enough to make decisions or vote and how things go.